you doing this video effect would be a very long video because it started uh, with Komodo I wanted to show you Komodo the new Komodo Komodo 10 because Komodo updated and they updated in a way that you cannot get the file anymore you get some downloader and then you know a small file of 5 megabyte and then you must install it and that will download Komodo for you so in fact I didn't want that so um, I got it via another way, the full file, and the full file was about, uh, I think it was about 70 or 80 megabytes, the installer. I found it very small. I thought, wow, that's pretty small, right? So um, I was fixing Ryan's computer. Video of that is also coming up. It's about uh, a very nice laptop. You're going to see it and <laughs> you're going to see what Windows 10 did to it and how we gonna fix that um so i installed komodo on two computers and one the pugway with seven zip unzipping you know and only the installer pick it out of the folders and install it and one fully and the fully i did on my um my Acer aspire the 5310 it's in fact a sort of music DJ laptop at this moment running Vista Vista home with original license so I was kind of looking at the processes after I installed Komodo and it was really my computer my laptop was having a high blood pressure really 24-7 on 100% processor usage and i really didn't know why that was but i did some testing and we go from there and in fact this video will show how to upgrade your windows it, could, it can be any windows without losing any file and how to clean up and you know do the whole thing so that's what you're gonna see in this video uh, so let's get started and see what your computer if it does not have that power can become if it's gonna run Komodo 10 there we go again the thing is back to 100% yo I don't want the system anymore I'm gonna kill it kill this piece of crap guys um, I'm gonna install upgrade to Windows 7 because you could see that my Windows Vista um, processor is working like 100% 24-7 that while uh, I don't know what it really is, but there's something very strange with that system. So I'm gonna, yeah, it's in fact the system that came with this, uh, but yeah, I cannot work on it. So uh, we're gonna do an upgrade without losing any file, but it's gonna be a clean install. So we do an upgrade from Vista to 7, but we're gonna do a clean install. So how to do a thing like that? That's what I'm gonna show you in this video. And we just booted, I created a bootable USB stick with power ISO. You could do that as well. So here we're gonna say, I accept, next. And now here we're gonna say custom. Up, up here you're gonna see that we have one drive. We have 33 gigabytes free, okay? So we're just gonna hit next here. It says the partition contains files from a previous windows bloody 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 blah, 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 blah. Uh, it will be put in a folder called old windows windows old that's exactly what we want so we're gonna hit next so the installation will be done beside uh, the windows at least the whole complete windows that is now on the drive will first be copied or will be copied to a folder called old windows and uh, I will keep all my files and I will be able to get all my files out of that folder old window. So let uh, the in installer start and when this is done, I'm gonna get and back to you. We're installed. <clears throat> so um, let's personalize real fast, put some icons uh, on the desktop. This is one of the first things that I do after I installed Windows so I can easily get to the properties and to the device manager 
and see if everything is okay. Only the PC I flash I must install. I should have a driver for that, but the rest is installed. As I can see, Broadcom is installed. Ateros, very, very nice. So we also have Wi Fi. Wi Fi works. Um, okay, so what we're now gonna do is we're gonna go to my computer. We're gonna go to my C drive, and up here you will find Windows All. You see that Windows Old? We're gonna open it. We go to users. We go to DJ. Okay. So um, here on my desktop, I had some stuff. Really sad to lose it. All right. Control A. So I'm just gonna, oops, place them on my desktop again. Boom. And there they are. So we go back. We go to downloads. Up here we say control A and we paste it to or we move it to our downloads. We go back, we go to my documents, control A, select everything, and then we put it in my documents. Okay, we go to my music. Lots of music there would be real ways to lose so putting it in my music there boom 2.8 gigabyte moved to my music my pictures i have no pictures my videos i have no videos save games nada so now we got to get rid of the old windows so how to get rid of the old windows well, you can get rid of the old windows by right mouse, mouse clicking your C drive and then you go to properties and then you're gonna hit disk clean up. And after the disk clean up is finished, we're gonna let it scan for system files. So here you will see it's doing it this time. It's calculating. So we're gonna clean the gigabytes of the previous uh, operating system. We already have all our files back, not the programs. So make no mistake, the programs will not come back. You will have to install everything one by one again. As you can see here, the link to my virtual DJ, you see that? It's dead. These are dead links. So this we can delete, it won't work. Windows Movie Maker, we're also gonna delete. It's useless piece of crap. So, empty the recycle can, boom. And that's it. So we're gonna scan, and until this is done, I'm gonna get ready. Okay, this is the first scan. As you will see, in here you will find nothing saying old windows these are just some megabytes that you can remove so you must click here clean up system files so now it's gonna scan for old windows files and other things that it did not show in fact it had to show it uh, immediately but yeah. and why are we doing this if we look at uh, here you're gonna see that my C drive I have uh, 28 gigabytes free it's not so much eh, of 80 gigabytes this is only a 80 gigabytes drive so in fact yeah what we're gonna do is uh, just uh, get the old windows uh, deleted and here you can see it's scanning for old windows so we're gonna let this go this might take a little okay there we are peeps uh, you can see that we have lots of files 9.7 three gigabytes uh, for the old windows or what was that windows vista up here surface pack backups we can delete no bytes oh there's nothing to delete here that's zero bytes null that is null null and another 70 kb so in fact there are not so much files to let's look one more time on top here we did not even select the windows. What is this? Windows must be deleted. 9.7 gigabytes. Delete these files. Activating my system. Uh, 
I'm trying not to lose my head. It's like a trouble sometimes that make me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a trouble sometimes that make me wonder how I keep from going under. Yeah. It's your boy CJ48. I'm just a cowboy, man. Kind of busy on the surface now. Now come on, you guys. Activate this thing for me. Oh, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you so much, Microsoft. Okay, oh. I'm really happy. <clears throat> Machine is done. And uh, let's look at uh, the processes of the machine. You can see that they are way lower now. It's a way more quiet machine than on the Vista. So seven improved above Vista. You know, Vista Lite maybe is good, but the normal Vista is demanding a lot of this poor old machine. So uh, now that it's back to its resources, I want to give it even more resources because uh, I installed my virtual DJ. I went for seven and not for eight just because this is an older machine. You must keep an eye on that little thingy there. You see, if it goes into red and it's always in the red, that's not good, okay? So we're gonna load a song. You see, it's kinda in the red. You see, but it can handle it. It can handle it. So I'm gonna play the song, but I will not put the sound because I cannot play the sound. So, meaning if the sound is playing and I would load another song, you see, processor is in red, but it's going pretty good. It's not stocking up, it's uh, it's pretty stable. And uh, if you make recordings, you know that you can record. If you make recordings, uh, you won't have no strange uh, uh, ticks and jump overs. Uh, like under 8 with this configuration. That's because of this machine. This is the 5310 But it's a good uh, machine. You can uh, it has a good sound card and uh, The sound is good, but now I'm gonna show you another thing to get even more power out of your machine What we're gonna do is right mouse click the computer my computer icon and we go to advanced system settings Okay up here we're gonna go to performance and we're gonna say adjust for best performance and you will see that we will get a totally different look and feels now we just have a gray old school um, how can you say that old school uh, look and feel so now we're gonna start up virtual DJ again And we're gonna look one more time at here at the top. In some way, it's more in the green now, green section. So let's load a song. Let's go here, this one here. It still goes to the red, but then it goes down, boom, very low. You see that? So in some way, this is also saving memory. See that? So if it's playing, you see it's kind of low. And even if I'm gonna press this one, that while the other one is already playing, it it, uh, it stays nice uh, in the green. So that's why I, you know, so we we by putting the settings to more powerful, we have even more power. Our processor is is. Is having a better uh, experience with it all okay so that's it uh, about security yeah in fact a machine like this 
should not have some fire scanner running on top of it and some firewall and yeah slowing it all down you know i think if i'm gonna install komodo this thing is gonna get really tired of even djing while komodo is running on the background so yeah that is something that uh, uh you know i'm using a good browser and i got plugins i i got some you know some stuff to protect me in here in firefox you can do that i'm running the latest firefox and uh it's it's very very reliable for many years i'm using this already so i'm kind of good with it um sure this is still an old machine let me show you the specifications before we're gonna co close this video uh, up here you can see that the specs are two gigabytes and an intel celeron m cpu of 1.6 gigahertz two cores i think i see two times 1.6 so sure but it's one processor let me show you the device manager everything is installed it looks really nice here you can see processors sd card slot we we still had the drivers we installed it you see that everything looks decent nice video nice machine i'm kind of happy with my update and thumbs up well more i don't have to say and show uh, this machine is ready for playing music and making beautiful recordings so yeah that's what i'm gonna use it for thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and love to see you in the next one until then